In today's video, we're opening 100 packs, searching for some of Yu-Gi-Oh's most epic Starlight Rares. What's up guys, we're back with another epic Yu-Gi-Oh opening where I have 100 packs before me. We're opening Power of the Elements, we're opening Burst of Destiny, and we're opening Battles of Chaos. There's a lot of amazing Starlights, so the Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, the Dark Magicians, Illusion of Chaos, then we have the DPE and Power of the Elements, and then one we've never pulled, the Starlight Stratos out of Burst of Destiny. So let's get right into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a booster box of Battles of Chaos because we're opening some of it today. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite pack of these three and what's your favorite card we could possibly pull. Send us some luck as well because we're going to need it. All right, let's get right to it. We have a lot of packs to open. 100 pack opening. Sit back, relax, enjoy it. They are newer packs, so we will be, you know, going through them slightly faster than like if they were old school packs, but still a 100 pack opening with some really nice choices because Battles of Chaos, you guys know, is one of my favorite. Dark the Dark Charmer is a great Starlight as well. Power of the Elements, I've not opened a lot of since we did the crazy openings for the, the uh, DPE, which we did actually succeed at, which is pretty amazing. But if you guys remember, it was damaged. So if I could pull one that's not damaged, that'd be great because I didn't get to grade mine because it had a big line on it. So if we could pull another one that's gradable, it'd really be like super nice. Not because like it needs to be graded. I just like to grade like the ones I get and get a PSA 10. It's really cool. Or you can get a nine like my Stardust, which is pretty sad. Uh, Burst of Destiny, not so many valuable cards in here anymore. You could still get DPE Secret, which is really cool. It's I think, I think it's back up to maybe like 15 bucks last I saw. I uh, could be wrong about that, but that was the last I saw it, which was not that recently. But we never pulled the Stratos. We opened uh, like we probably opened like three or four cases of that set and we never got Stratos. It was before because that set was so hot. I didn't get a lot of it. I remember it being pretty hard to get at the time, uh, so I didn't actually get to acquire much of it myself. So I opened I think, well, I mean, not much. I think I got like four or five cases. So I opened like three of them, kept one. So we still have one somewhere, I think, that I didn't open. But the problem with that was, you know, we opened three cases and I only got one Starlight out of three cases, which a lot of people don't realize Starlights are not one per case. They're one every two cases, essentially. It's one in 25 boxes. So even more rare than one in two cases. So, if, you know, sometimes you can get the cases that don't have them. Sprite Starter, very nice card. If you're going to play Sprites, I actually really enjoyed playing Sprites on Master Duel like you know, when I did it like a year ago, it was a long time ago. They're not exactly uh, good anymore. I think they've been hit and there's a lot of other good decks and stuff like that. So they were fun. I never played them IRL, but now maybe I will now. I have the Sprite Starter, which if you even can, I think a lot of them are they're either bad or banned or something like that. I don't know. I haven't really kept up with the current meta super well, but I know that sprites are not what they once were. Maybe they'll have to become Sprite Cranberry around Christmas time. That'll help. OK, we have the power of the elements up next. Can we get DP? I'm trying to remember what are the other pot starlights? I really don't remember. Either way, I'll be happy if we pull one, because right here we have essentially like what? A little bit over four boxes and, you know, it's one in 25 boxes. So our chances are pretty low to get a Starlight Rare. But the goal here today is to get one. doesn't really matter which one it is. I would love for it to be the, the Stratos because we looked for it originally and never got it. Or, uh, you know, DPE would be pretty amazing as well. Battles of Chaos, basically any of them except the Teresia, which is probably the one we'll get. We have the B Trooper Descendant. Very cool. All right, let's go. But I don't I don't know. I'm just going in a random order. I'm not exactly sure which order I'm going in, but 100 packs is going to be pretty long, so I'm not going to like that's a, Ru a super rux and special ultra. No, wait, wait, no, 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 not super ultra rux and special because I went right to the to the card. But, you know, that's probably going to happen at some point today in 100 packs. One, two, three, four. Sometimes I do the, the rux and special. I mean, it doesn't happen that often, which is funny because somebody said if it's a rux and special and you do it all the time, is it really special? I'm like, well, it's not really about being special, but it is. Yeah, that's still a good question. Like, it's a good inquiry. All right. Battle of Chaos. One, two, three, four. We have Mad Hacker. We have S-Force. Dogmatic Cabre. Groza. Leaf Place Place. Goshik Shot. Eurodora of Fate. Dartron. And Soul and Luna. That's not a crazy one, but it is a card. I'm going back to back Battles of Chaos because that's just how we do it. It's also a little bit easier to grab, though. So that's probably why I did that. Groza. We have Dynamorphia Alert. Shell, Smorg, we have Ghost Trick or Treat, Skill Brown Magician, we have Radagast, Neroy, and the Arkansas Razorback, super rare. We really have pulled only Ultras so far. Three Ultras, nothing too crazy. I think Sprite Starter is probably our best card. I don't think B Troopers have been, you know, very, ever been very expensive. Uh, Soul and Luna has always been a pretty low end card, uh, heavy interlock. So even if Sprite Starter is like banned or something, it's still probably the best card because it could become unbanned and be pretty good. These other cards are not so great. A little bit of soda action. We have Sprite Pixels, Pixies, sorry, not Pixels. Blaine Rose, we have Orbit, Fields, Telephone, we have Ravenous. 
Oh, and a secret rare Asher King. I remember this being one of the worst secrets. So there you go. One of the worst secret rares. But don't worry. It's not all about one secret. We got a lot more chances to pull something good right here. Come on, guys. Send me some luck in the comments. I'm going to need it to pull one big. I mean, if we get one Starlight, it'd be amazing. Technically, we could get more because we have a bunch of different packs, you know, so who knows? Maybe one, they'll all have a Starlight. One will have a Starlight. You'll be like, oh, that's probably it. Maybe we'll get another one. Who knows? We've got Overfusion. We got Sprite Pixies, Menace, Mimesis, Mimesis Elephant. OK, it's like Nemesis, but Mimesis. We have Soma. Gadget Gamer and ooh, a Sheeran that used to be money. Guessing not anymore. I think tier limits, you know, not gr as good anymore. I think there's not horrible. I think they've had some some hits as well because, you know, when it's been a year since you've had a deck, it's probably not going to be really good anymore because whatever it is, it'll either be new archetypes taking over or it'll be the ban list just dominating side net. We have the super rare right there. Back to back burst. Come on, burst. Give us something good. One, two, three, four. We have Fenglin, Feng Lee, Beat Trooper Squad, Cube Pitch, Royal Penguins, we have Abyss Keeper, DD Soul Carrier, Ice Shade Trinola, Giant Starfall, and Magic Key Fiend, Transfer Lamine. Battles of Chaos. I love you, Battles of Chaos. Okay, did you hear that? So you better give us something good, right? You better give us something good. Monster Reborn, that's like when you find Monster Reborn in the wrong pack, like that. <laughs> Shining, we have Top Share, Ogdoidic, we have Fire Opal Head, Ghost Trick Siren. By the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go check out my Top 10 Error Pulls. Secret Rare, very nice. Zombie Vampire. If you have not seen my Top 10 Error Pulls video, it's pretty old at this point, like a year or something like that, but just search Ruxin Top 10 Error Pulls, and it is one of them, and it's hilarious. It was during a live stream, actually, so that's what made it awesome, because I didn't catch it, and the chat caught it, and they're like, uh, what was that? Why was that in there? And I was like, you guys are trolling me, and we went back and there was a monster reborn in the wrong set. Just go see it because the moment is way better than me explaining it. We have Ice Shade and uh, Instant Contact, another secret rare. Pretty good card because it's a Neos. Uh, I'm guessing it's like five bucks, something like that. Though it did get a reprint, so maybe even less than that. Uh, pretty sure it got a reprint one at like Megaton 2023 or something. One, two, three, four. We have B Trooper Squad. It's amazing how old Burst of Destiny is like right now. Oh, the Undaunted Bumpkin Beast. What a crazy name. Night Sword. Landing, we have Cleric, Sinek Crosswipe, Giant Starfall, Sword Soul. Oh, and a Boral Code Dragon. Very nice. Ultra Rare. So we are pulling a lot of foils right now, but there's a lot left to be pulled. We really need to pull, you know, high end. We need to pull, I mean, I'd take an Ultra Dark Magician. I would still take that. Blackout, Transonic Bird, Ruxin, Special Danger, Night Sword, Rebuild Deer. We have Reptilian, we have Sue Ship, we have Night Flight. And Evil Twin uh, Trouble Sunny. Why am I trying to say Live Twin? Evil Twins Trouble Sunny. There we go. That's a Starlight Rare in Burst of Destiny. So that would be pretty good if we got that. That's the one I pulled, I think. that's. I think I pulled that and nothing else. Turned out to be a really crazy card, actually, for the Evil Twins. Melfi Wally. Wally. No, no, Wally. No, no. We don't want to be a Wally society. We have Digit Jamming. And that's what we're going to be soon with, uh, what is it, Apple Vision? We're going to be Wally people out here just with our Apple Vision on. It's like sitting there, like typing the air. One, two, three, four. I'm sure all you guys have seen all those all those clips and stuff. We have Shining Patches, Syphila. We have Top Share, Rux and Special. Ogdoidic, Ice Shade Erosion, Silver Vine or Fire Rebel Head, Goshik Siren, Neroy, and Alice, a Lady of Lament. All right, we've got Burst of Destiny. 100 pack opening today. Hopefully your popcorn is tasting great right now. You're enjoying a somewhat longer video. I don't think it'll be too crazy long, uh, but it'll be longer. You know, 100 packs is 100 packs, so it doesn't go that fast. I'm looking for that shiny on the edge. One, two, three, four, or maybe a dark magician that pops out of nowhere. We're just opening, not expecting it. You know, like, oh, yeah, look, ghost trick shot. Nothing to see here. No dark magician. And then all of a sudden it's a dark magician. You know what I'm saying? That would be pretty crazy. OK, pack trick. You've done well so far. I think we're swapping to the side swipe now. Side swipe, just because it's a little more comfortable and we've got a lot of packs to open. The side swipe can really like it's not as it's not as aesthetically pleasing, I don't think, because, you know, you know, you're going one card at a time. You're like, ooh, what's coming next? Side swipe can kind of give it away a little bit, you know, a little bit like this. You know, ooh, if that was like a starlight, you could be like, oh, well, there's a star. There's a sprite jet for my sprite deck that I'm definitely going to be building. We have battles of chaos. That was a joke. Probably not going to be building it, but would be cool. Tamias, the United Dragon. There we go. That's beautiful. One of my favorite cards out of Battles of Chaos. It's just a cool looking card for sure. Took forever to like get that guy. Uh, 
you know, because I, I figure he's like a season four of Yu-Gi-Oh! They have Tamias. But I guess they had printed a Tamias, hadn't they? But this is like the better version. Uh, it's like a retrain, I guess. Uh, ooh, a gigantic sprite. Man, we really are pulling the sprite deck right now. There's a sprite red, too. Sprite red. Tier Limits Merly used to be a crazy common as well. Putting together the sprite core. Doing it right here. Carbonation and all. Carbonation. Okay, we have Bayonet Punisher. Battles of Chaos. We have Anibamaru. We have Dark Contract. I think I need to open more Poach. We have, feels like there's a lot that have not been opened in there. Heavy Interlock. Penguin Knight. The Penguins. We need to keep pulling our sprite deck right now it's happening we have a grand tusk dragon very nice moki moki adrift i like that moki moki card the original moki moki is still the best because he's just a vanilla that's what makes him awesome is like just a terrible vanilla it's really cool and the artwork is hilarious i just love the moki moki gem knight quartz as do a lot of people i mean it's it's moki moki right how could you not love it uh these packs don't want to like stay up they're all wanting to like lay down on the on the desk all right come on chill out you guys gotta Stick together over here. Battles of Chaos. Let's accidentally just run into a Dark Magician real quick. We have Ghost Trick Shot. We have a Branded a Vampire Fascinator, but then you got to go all the way to the end just in case. There's a Dark Magician in there. Lots of packs. I've opened a lot of packs recently. I mean, you know, we had new sets, which means we open a ton of packs. We've opened a lot of Phantom Nightmare. Now I'm opening a bunch of these sets. Like, it has been crazy. Sometimes we do shorter openings. We've been doing a lot of longer ones. There's Spirit of Neos is a pretty cool card. Sprite Red again. Sprite, oh yeah, Sprite Blue is uh, is a secret in there. It's going to be a little bit harder to get. Sprite Red, not so hard. Sprite Jet and Sprite Red, not as hard to get as the Sprite Blue, which has a secret and a ulti printing. Did they ever print it again after that? I'm sure they gave it like a prismatic secret. No, they. I don't think they did. Surely they reprinted it, but I can't remember. Did they reprint Sprite Blue? I don't even know. Magic Karibo, our guy. Let's go. This is one of my favorite all-time cards. I love that card. It is so cool. It just has a great look to it. The Dark Magician hat on the Karibo looks really nice. Like, it's meme and it looks good at the same time. You know what I mean? We have the Therion Empress. Okay, still a lot of packs left. I'm guessing we're at least over halfway, but could be wrong about that. We've got a Scareclaw Straddle. Very nice. Melfi Wally. Wally. No, Wally. Stop it. Stop showing up. DD Assault, we have the Stained Glass of Light and Dark. But Wally wants you to be addicted to screen. <laughs> no, Wally's not evil. Okay, Wally's good. Wally would save you. Okay, we have Tyrion. I don't even remember what happens to Wally. I just remember he somehow ends up on that ship with all the people in the floating beds, you know? He first, he's in the wasteland that used to be America. Yeah, pretty scary. We have S-Force. Still, Wally, you can save us, okay? You can save us. We have the Meows Click and Brave Drive. We've got Battles of Chaos. Give us Dark Magician, please. Or Magic Rebo again. We have Vampire Ghost. I like Magic Rebo. It's a good card. And by good, I mean, it's not good. You know, I don't think people use it, but it's good in terms of it's cool. Does that count? Sprite Carrot. That's the other one I was trying to think of. I was like, what's the other common? Sprite Carrot. Yeah, I got to pull those out from my deck, my core, my Sprite core, guys. We've got, I mean, I, oh, the DPE, let's go. This used to be a big boy. Not so much anymore, but I think it still has some value. You know, I really feel like I saw it at around 15 to 20, which is really good, honestly, like for, it's already been reprinted a couple times. Or has it only been reprinted? One, no, maybe I was thinking of Dragoon. That's doing, I think Dragoon was 15 to 20. I think that might only be like five. Yeah, unfortunately. I just remembered that I was getting that mixed up with Dragoon. I don't think DPE is, DPE is a sick card though. It's a very good card. Not as good anymore, obviously, because that's how it works in Yu-Gi-Oh. They're great, and then they're not great, you know? <laughs> that's just how it goes. And the stuff counters it. They figure out it's not as good as they thought. Okay, we got a Zoro. Oh, that's a secret rare. Match just Conflagrant Calamity. Power of the Elements. Here we go, baby. We've got Gem Knight, Lady Rose, Diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. All right. Burst. Release. Reverse burst. We have Double Disturbance and Fingly. Battle of Chaos. Can you give us the Dark Magician? Maybe. No, you cannot. Not right there, at least. Power of the Elements. I think you could potentially give us something crazy. Oh, Garura. Wings of the Resonant Life. That's a good card. That used to be a huge Ultra. It was like 14 or 15 or something. It was something crazy, like for an Ultra. Which nowadays we're seeing ridiculous Ultras, so it's not as crazy. Like, you know, in the last core set, <laughs> Poplar and... The, uh, wow, why do I always forget this thing's name? The big one, the big link. 
Whatever that thing's called. But, you know, those two big ultras. Ooh, Karakuri, Divan Karate. I think this is actually the best card in the set right now, besides the Starlights and Power of the Elements. So, I think it's around 20 based on what I saw in the price guide. That's pretty good. $20 card. We'll take it. There's an Arkansas Razorback. We honestly have pulled crazy because, like, Burst of Destiny, we got the DPE, which is, you know, not as good anymore in terms of value, but it's still one of the best cards in the set. Just been power crept and reprinted and everything. So this one is... Okay, we got a Havness and a Eka, the Flame Body. Another Merlin. Yeah, Poe had some crazy comments, too. Like, for tier, tier Limits and Sprite, like, there's some good stuff in there. We have Libramancer Agent. Diplos. Keep searching. Okay. Boral Load Riot Dragon. I don't remember that card like at all. <laughs> the Boral Load stuff just kind of just kind of like, okay, bore another Boral Load, whatever. And I just kind of forget about it because they're very similar to me. That's it. That's a ritual though. That I don't remember a ritual at all. Okay. We're down to maybe like a quarter of the packs, maybe a third. I don't know. Magic Key Spirit. Could be a, it could be a third. Not 100% sure. We've got a Scatter Fusion that has a gem on it. Guessing Scatter Fusion has something to do with Gem Knights based on gem, you know. And then they always have a lot of fusions too, so. Dark Dimension Soldier. That's a cool artwork based on like, you know, all the, the different dimension stuff. A lot of cool artworks if you like really look at them. Sometimes, you know, I get carried away just looking for certain cards. I don't really look at the artwork as much. And then when I'm like, okay, I need to lock in on the artwork. I'm like, oh, it's a pretty good looking card, you know? Like I haven't spent time looking at it, like Rebuild Deer. Never really looked at that thing. It's like some of these commons. That, I mean, this is a Gunk and Sue ship. I mean, how do you go wrong? Ataya, Sword Soul. Very cool. A lot of reprints on this Sword Soul stuff as well. But Sword Soul was pretty big for quite a while. I had a full deck for a while. Might still have it, to be honest. I think I might have taken out like one card. One of the extra deck cards. Like, I have like the Sword Soul stuff still in there. Power of the Elements. Gigantic Sprite. Another one. Okay. There's a Sprite Carrot. We still need a uh, Sprite Elf, I think. We don't have one of those. Which, I feel like it was Sprite Elf or it was the other Link that got banned, but I still have never checked. We have Magnificent Map, another crazy Ultra at the time. Not as expensive anymore, because it's had a Prismatic Secret reprint, I believe. Nordic Relic? Oh, I forgot, this is actually the good Ice Shade card. I say this every time, it's actually like seven bucks. I don't think it got a reprint because it's Ice Shade, so like, why would you reprint it? It's probably like 50 cents for a while. Okay, Dictator of D, that's a classic. That sometimes is over a dollar. I don't know if it is now, uh, but for a while, I know it was, like two bucks. We have Crosskeeper, we have Vindred Scavenger. Pretty nice. Battles of Chaos, give us that Dark Magician, please. The Illusion of Chaos, that's a nice, I think this one's like five bucks now too, but it used to be like a $50 card, that's pretty sweet still. I'll take it, one of the better secrets. We're down to not that many packs left, so let's just try to finish this thing off strong. Let's finish it off strong with a Vernislith, very nice. Burst of Destiny, can we get D, P, and E? Let's see if we can't, I mean, we already got a DP, but no Starlights yet, that's really what we're hoping for is a Starlight Rare. Right, we haven't gotten one yet. We have the ultimate fusion. Pretty cool. Power of the elements. You're gonna you're gonna do this for us. You're gonna pull something great. Well, I really hope it's the Starlight Stratos, because that's one we've never pulled. So burst of destiny. Come on. Give us that Stratos. That'd be amazing. We have Mimicking. Oh, Sword Soul Grandmaster Chi Chow. It's a secret rare for the Sword Soul. Very nice as well. Battles of Chaos. You can also the epic Libramancer Magi Girl. We're down to like the last 10 packs. We've done like 90% of the opening. We have not yet pulled a big starlight, which would be nice. I'm just throwing it out there. It'd be nice to get a starlight. Not even a big starlight, just a starlight. Dragon Bite, that's not even a starlight. I mean, come on. What do you expect? What are you expecting from me, Dragon Bite? I want you to be a starlight. Oh, there we go. The Shining Neos Wingman. That's pretty cool. We're getting a lot of great cards for real. Like we're doing pretty good. <sighs> Problem is we are searching for a Starlight today and Ice Jade Creation is a super, not a Starlight. Okay, we are down to only a few packs left. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more packs where this came from. We'll be opening a lot more packs. We'll be searching for a lot more cool stuff. So I hope that we can do that with you very soon. So keep an eye out on my channel make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because we have a lot more to come okay we have the oh rocks and special reptilian medusa these burst of destiny really want to like stick together they're hard to open or hard to like shuffle through i mean they're not hard to open we have the ice jade cradle okay one more pack of power of the elements and then we have three packs left one of each these power of the elements really like the cards separate really easily which is Kind of nice, kind of not, because it's kind of hard not to spoil the cards. 
Okay, last three packs. Here we go. We have a Sunvine Sewing. Okay, nothing on Burst of Destiny. Battles of Chaos, you're up next. Come on. Give us that blue eyes jet dragon. That would be so cool. That'd be a great way to end it. Let's do a no. Let's do a pack trick. We have Groza. Dynamorphia Alert, Dynamorphia Shell, Ghost Trick Siren. We have Ghost Trick Retreat, Skill Brown Magician, Doll Happiness. Oh, and a Dynamorphia Domain. Secret. Okay, we'll take it. Not the best one ever, but it's also not the worst. It's pretty decent. Power of the Elements first set. Here we go. I know a lot of people like Power of the Elements, so maybe we can end it with a banger right here. Starlight Stratos. We have Pit Knight Early, Tears of the Overroot, Double Dust Tornado Twins. Carvin, we have the Most Distant, Branded Expulsion. Furnace Lift, Digit Jamming, and Shift Fairy of the... I thought there was another card. Okay, so we did okay, but we didn't get a Starlight. If you guys want to see me do this again and actually go and get one, you know, because they're pretty hard to pull, make sure you let me know in the comments. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Zadu, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Another Toy Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.